Hi, I am Shashank. In this video, I will be demonstrating the backend application assignment that is cab booking system, which is built using Spring Boot framework and MySQL database. I am using Java 17 version Spring Boot 3.0.0 and the name of the database is cab underscore application and the database file you can find under the data folder under resources under the project folder so let's start quickly with the demonstration so uh, I have already started the application so this is the IntelliJ idea and cab service I have imported so it's running on 8080 and everything is configured so let's so I will be using three instances of the browser because since we have three roles driver uh, user and admin so uh, in edge I will be logging as customer one so quickly login uh, customer one password so logged in let's log in as customer two because we need various customers for demonstrating different functionalities of the application so customer uh, let's log in as admin first admin admin logged in as admin and we need one more so new window localhost 8080 customer 2 password okay we have now three users logged in so let's first go to admin so this is the admin as you can see admin can see all the cars that are present in the system the admin can see all the drivers that are present in the system uh, admin can also delete and check the used cars can delete can check car requests so driver can request cars to the admin and admin can approve and reject based on that use case so let's uh, so just I have already added let's add one more car just to check the functionality so I am adding car 3 and let's white color and sitting capacity let's say 3 okay so we have two cars with three seating capacity two cars with four seating capacity and one car with seven seating capacity so now let's add one driver also and assign the, the, this car to that driver so uh, the id of the car is 602 okay so let's one more driver driver six driver six and what's the id of that car uh, 602 okay so assign 602 so assign uh, in the cars also we can see driver is assigned okay so we have drive car and drivers so this is the functionality of the admin and these things can only be do can only be done by admin not by other users so uh, and one more thing uh, let's add an invalid car so suppose a model test color test and sitting capacity 11 so it's not possible we have only three possible scenarios cars with three four and seven sitting capacity so let's add this so it will give a error so we got error in the form of json i have configured my project in that way so timestamp message loud capacities are three four seven only details add car okay so that 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 is one thing i wanted to show now let's uh, let's uh, go to customers so we are at customers now customers can only book the cap so they can check three seaters what are the available caps four seaters what are the available caps and seven seaters. so we have only one for seven so let's book so let's book uh, four seater let's book bmw so we have booked so username we got the response booking so booking details is returned in the form of json so this is the id of the booking username customer one has booked and 
car id this driver id this status booked cancel url okay so if we want to cancel the booking then this is the url okay now let's go to admin admin uh, admin admin okay admin one two three okay so car requests cars all right so user has booked the car and so as you can see the uh, we have booked the bmw so bmw the available for booking it becomes false because now it's not available for booking so suppose other users uh, yeah so other users want to see bmw for sitter bmw is not available earlier it was available because bmw is already booked so it's not available to other users that's one thing uh, now let's cancel uh, cancel the booking so uh, yeah so oh, cancel the booking from customer one so cancel car booking id 402 booking cancelled successfully all right so let's go and let's go to customer two so this is customer two now check uh, no customer two so customer customer two one two three now we can check four seater is available earlier it was not available all right okay so now this is done so what other functionalities do we have so we have uh, we can yeah add car api remove car api is done add driver remove driver is done yeah let's uh, assign yeah admin can also assign car to drivers so suppose uh, admin so we have a new car okay so let's add a new car car 7 color red sitting capacity 3 so new car is added 603 now let's assign this so we have a, I have stored a URL so controller uh, car controller so here is the url to assign so admin can use this so uh, add car manage car manage cars okay uh, where is the admin so yeah this is admin so we have to use uh, manage cars is done okay so we have added a new car uh, so 602 now we want to assign it okay so driver we have added a new car 603 yeah the car name is 603 so uh, let's so, so driver id car id so we have to pass here uh, 603 603 and we have to pass the driver id also driver id is uh, let's assign let's change driver 6 driver id so driver id is 252 252 so what i am doing driver 2 already uh, driver 6 is already assigned to some other uh, car id i am reassigning using admin so let's hit this url yeah you can see now 252 is, is assigned to car 7 and it is like it is not assigned to car 3 anymore yeah that's another functionality uh, now let's also check the request the drivers can request the admin for like new cars so let's see that also so uh, 
driver controller so uh, delete add used cars and car request controller delete car request reject okay okay car request controller approve reject and delete car requests okay this is for admin and driver controller uh, uh, driver yeah driver can request so request car yeah here's the url so let's use this for yeah so we are at admin and this url we have to pass the driver id so driver id uh, driver id let's uh, get it from here driver id 252 252 is asking for which car 252 is now asking for 554 which is assigned to some other car okay so 554 okay let's his, hit this url okay so this is the list of cars so list of like requests so car requests so here you can see that uh, a request id is generated driver to car id and this either admin can approve or reject so let's reject because it's already assigned so as soon as i reject the request status is changed so that's one thing and other functionalities is also done like uh, users can check the available list of cars yeah so validation is done now let's uh, yeah one more important thing so let's try the admin url from subscriber whether it is possible or not for example suppose a customer wants to assign a request a car so customer is requesting to assign a car so it's it can only be done by driver so uh, customer 2 suppose customer 2 is trying so i am using this so yeah customer 2 also is able to do it but let's let's manage cars and let's let's go to admin let's go to admin uh, car controller okay yeah let's try to hit this url from customer uh, customer 2 so let's hit this from customer 1 so um, yeah so forbidden because customer is not allowed to delete or edit those things so all those things let's go to code so all those things is configured in this like admin can do these things users can do these things yeah so that was the demonstration i hope that uh, that's clear so thank you